Hello, everybody. <coughs> so, um, yeah, this, um, this is too big. I don't know how am I going to make this video. Hopefully, you guys can see. So, yeah, I know. This is the um, UNSC Frost Raven. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm not gonna do too much explaining, I guess. You know, y'all see. You can just look at the thumbnail of the video and there's the name that I posted. And yeah, here are these figures. Uh, this Master Chief, he's from the Warthog set from... No, not the Warthog Rally, that Halo Infinite set. No, it's from the... That, you know, a 10 anniversary set. Yeah, it's from that one this Master Chief is from. So, yeah, I just, you know, I got a black Sharpie and I put a black on him. I painted black right on his armor. Yeah, the gun, not too much. It's, a, it's the same as always. Here's the, um, here's the pilot. Looks like an RDST. Well, I almost called it an RDST. But, um, yeah. Also, if you realize, uh, these figures are the exact same. But the only thing that changes is the helmet. The helmet. Or should I say, or should I say headpiece? Because, uh, yeah, that's a helmet. That's a headpiece. Well, it's kind of both. I don't know. And, you know, the only thing that changes is the helmet and this, um, armor part right there. And, you know, the rest is the exact same, but, you know, different weapons. So, yep. So, yeah, they, and this Frost Raven already included an RGST, but except I swapped it out for this one, this, uh, metallic colored one, because, you know, it looks better. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, this again, not that much. Once again. But except, you know, the armor locker, the top of it, it's like a different color. There we go. So, yeah. So, yeah, these flood infection forms. Yeah, you, you already seen them. If you're wondering now if, you know, I added any parts in the inside, well, I did. So, here's a look at it. Yep, gotta make it look good from the inside. You know, outside, there's not that many stud parts. There's only, you know. So, yeah. But, yeah, the infection form, same as always, and I'm gonna show too much about it but you now I can do a head switch out yep so yeah you, you guys already seen that and some you know two videos you already seen that but I don't know is there this of course the um, Ross Raven included this and, well, this I didn't include this, so, like, you know, I decided to include it in this video. But, um, yeah, I included this in case if you're, if y'all out there are, like, familiar. Like, familiar. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Familiar. Alright. Yep. Anyways, yeah, that, that took some time to put my infection forms back. But now let's get on to the Frost Raven. Now, this thing is a beast. It's a... I am impressed with this. Like, this opens up. 
I'm not gonna talk too much about it, or draw. This is gonna be a long video. But oh my god, I cannot stop looking at this. It looks exactly like from Halo World Wars. Looks exactly like you know. I'm not sure if this is from Halo 2 World Wars or this is from you know the Halo Wars game. I think this is from Halo 2 World Wars. Yeah, I don't know. Or unless if it's from both games. But um, yeah, these these move. I'm trying my best to you know for you guys to get a good look at this. No, uh, putting these, yeah, really hard for me. I had, I couldn't, I had to, you know, try to figure out where were the pen holes. I'm not gonna remove that, cause you know. But me, yeah, I like pens down here. They, these move. Has a gun under there. You know, here's some reloading right here. So, yeah, there's like a storage compartment in there. Like, in the room where you can put all the weapons in there. Put that back. There we go. Okay, so the, basically in the set you were able to store Decimus Hammer and this RGST uh, Magnum. Yep. But I basically took that off and you know to put it like three things right there. So then I can store you know this on there. Now well, I can go ahead and store this. Hopefully you guys can see and oh my god that <coughs> that frost raven keeps uh falling back. There's a uh, weight in the back. So yeah, that's one. Anyways, yeah, there you go. And yeah, I can go back in there. I mean, knock all of this stuff off. Alright, let me try to do this, like, not on camera. There we go. Alright. Yeah, they're done then. Alright, also, you know. It fires. Like I said, you know, fires from the front. You know, that feature is a really good feature. Yep. Kind of hard for me to put my fingers down there. I, I gotta feel it. Like, you know, if I feel like a button or something, you know, I gotta, I gotta feel where the trigger is. Yep. And that's where the pilot sits. So, right there, you know, there's some um, consoles. Yep. Also, there's a glass in the back of the pilot's seat. So, yeah. There you go. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Oh yeah, also sorry, my voice sounds a little bit, you know, kind of like, you know, messed up because I'm sick. Not because of COVID, of course, not because of that. But um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I almost forgot to show you this. You can hook up a warthog on there. But, um, yeah. You know. Have to take these off and put them on there. But then. 
But anyways, yeah, that that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and share the video. And yeah, goodbye.